Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be talking about how you can make use of fog particle effects and how you can play with them with light to beautify your scene. So if you're working in Twin Motion, you already know that we've covered a couple of videos in the channel, but we haven't actually talked about how you can use these particles. And today we're going to look at how you can bring in fog and how you can, you know, play around with it and get some interesting, interesting results for your renders. And the scene which we have here is a scene which I regularly use, but the only difference here, if I just have to go all the way back, the only difference here is what I've done is I've gone ahead to just use the side of the model and create more like uh, an alleyway or something like that. All right. And just added a simple cube here. These are basic things that we already know. And so what I'm going to do now is just simply jump all the way back. And by default, we need to add a couple of lights. So if I choose to drop in a simple spotlight like this, it's nice, but we do not see any volume happening here. And this is also something that we are actually going to look at. So I'm just going to make a couple of copies. So I'm just going to make a copy here. Simply say OK and rotate this over to the side and position it directly directly here. I think this is going to be fine. So we cannot see this happening unless we're working in the dark and for us to do that i'm also going to come here and simply turn the time of day a little bit down so that it's a bit dark in the night and we can see something like this all right so let me rotate this over to this point and also rotate this other one here it's nice to see these fall-offs happening directly on the viewport but then there is a couple of things that i think you guys would like to see so let's just uh, get this to work very well I think I'll just drag in another one. So I'm just going to drag in another one because I want it to snap to the uh, wall. And now, so let's jump all the way back and go over to our furniture. So directly in the furniture, you're going to notice that we have things called particles. So I'm going to click on the particles and you would see a couple of things that are particle like that we can use. So we can bring in the default ground fog and drop it directly here. And because Twin Motion is real time, you already know that by now that we're getting this very cool, you know, kind of effect happening directly there. You can still go ahead and rotate this to suit whatever need that you want to create. You can uh, drag this all the way up and let's just get this all the way up to this point. And then you can see these things for yourself. Now, there's also a couple of things I would like you guys to get out from this. By default, once you start playing with the light, because this exists, you would be able to see this uh, reflect into the light. This is a volume and you know you can see this reflecting the light. This particular object that we have here, so if I try to sample this object, you would notice I cannot sample it. I can only select this object. I can only transform this object by rotating, uh, positioning and scaling this particular object. This object as it is, the color cannot be changed. The only thing that can influence the color of this object is the color that you give to your light itself so if i start increasing my light and let's say i position the light like this you can see because this light has a blue tint you notice that the volume here automatically is a blue tint the same thing happens for this other one once we have this object selected and we go over to where we have the color click on more directly here and choose to change the color to something more uh, purple like and click on ok you also see that we're having this very purple feel directly here and the intensity controls how much you're going to see the uh, volumetric or the fog object that we have directly here so with this tool you will be able to you know create very cool interesting effects that you may want to use for your project all of the light properties influences this particular tool that we have here all of the light properties so if you choose your light property and you start changing the attenuation you see how much effect we're having over the fog or the volumetric as it's called in different apps and so this is a, a way you can you know interestingly create some very cool things in your scene and also if you get to bring in a red smoke you would notice that it is not influenced by this these ones that have textures by default are not influenced or these ones that have colors by default are not influenced by light but these other ones that are just independent that do not have any form of color or any form of uh you know material baked to them are influenced heavily by the light that exists in the scene so i would like you guys you know to go ahead and take advantage of these things and uh, create some very beautifying shots 
and you can throw in a couple of things inside here completely make here a very nice alleyway that you know would make your scene way way interesting do you like this feature have you used it before is it something that you've tried i would like to know about this in the comment section below and just before we leave i need to give a huge shout out to an amazing amazing instagram artist who brought this to my knowledge by simply asking a couple of questions and his name is dini's design corner link to his instagram is going to be in the description just in case you want to check out his amazing sketchup work and his amazing twin motion render i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below if you like this you know what to do hit the like button turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video the next tutorial the next upload and until i see you guys again with a review tutorial update walkthrough tutorial tuesday free friday tips and tricks things like this Peace.